Hello Pisces and welcome to your February sun sign reading here at School for the Fool. I hope you're all doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what's happening. I'm excited. I'm excited. King of Swords. I feel like this is your energy. Like, you're transforming to tell a truth. And you're using air energy, which is not something you're used to. But you're evolving and you're realizing that thoughts are powerful. That connecting your left brain to your right brain actually can help you with your abilities like I can I can feel like how it makes you feel lighter there's a lighter like air like quality in here like a bird's eye view what an incre incredible fierce transformation but it's so peaceful at the same time and I have a feeling it wasn't easy like those pillars really f signify to me the pillars of in death, the death, and also of in the high priestess, the dark and the light. There was activation there. Ten of Wands. Completion. Putting down burdens. Ending codependent behavior. Spending time with vampires. That's what I see here. You worked hard at this transformation. Whoever I'm resonating with, whoever I'm reading for in this reading here. Wow. Yeah. Now we have the Page of Swords. It's learning to tell truth of dark and of light to find balance. And it's like, you really get that. You really get that you have to tell, telling your truths, even if they are necessarily dark, will help, th help them become light. Your thoughts become light. Your energy become light. It's like, it connects you to your childlike wonder. You're following the synchronicities. You're getting connected um, on your spiritual path and quest. <clears throat> the alchemy of lead to gold. This is part of your destiny. You know, I feel, I feel a sadness and feel a sadness and acceptance of that but there there is also a strength right now <clears throat> we have the page of coins somebody who is act actively on a spiritual quest it's being grounded though now it's time spent it's patience it's it has to be cultivated it's a relationship with nature it's really slowing down pacing and the Knight of Cups. There's a message in this card. We're gonna be reading it from the book. And there we have it, the Six of Swords. Because now we are dealing with logic. We are dealing with left brain. We're understanding it's just time. It's time to move away from what's not serving us it's time to literally it's like with this sword the sword <clears throat> and the energy that comes with it it's present and it anchors you and it allows you to go on a voyage to do something in treacherous waters that you were not able to do before
It allows you to do something you couldn't do before this transformation. Oh, the book. <clears throat> Hold on. I guess I really need to have the book in order to do that. Now, okay. This is the message. The Knight of Cups awakens the heart through the power of water and energy of waves and currents. He is the Lord of the deep places in each of us and the, ch the champion of our secrets. So the Knight of Cups can be romantic, temperamental, or he may be a dreamer and a visionary, but like all the Knights, he can go overboard sometimes. The Knight of Cups sets aside his quest for the deeper meaning. He makes the realm of the unconscious available to the legacy project. He brings completion, thoughtfulness, and meaningful relationships. Love and desire are the spirit's wings to great deeds. All right, what now is being activated? Let's see what's being activated. Actually, I'm lying. We're not seeing what's being activated yet because we're going deeper. We're gonna see, uh, we're just gonna get a little bit more clarification here with these beautiful cards. hanged man with the king of swords and after everything we've just read this is going to make complete sense angel of prophecy okay going to learn something Like the imagery, even how those cards are connected is, wow. All right, and here we have the Angel of Abundance. We need to put some of those wands down to be able to birth new life and have our abundance. Yeah, and here we go. That's what we're talking about, okay? Even telling our truth, if it's bad, if it's negative, if it hurts, it's over heartache, over sorrow. That makes people feel uncomfortable, but it frees us. Maybe make you feel uncomfortable, but it frees you. And that could very well be what's happening here, okay? That could very well be what's happening there. Did not flip because it wanted to do that here what I'm talking about death the angel of transformation and that is what is happening on your spiritual quest and maybe there is a heartache you don't even like a truth about a heartache you don't even want to face or tell to yourself but there's a transformation as I was talking about these pillars it's like you are gonna you're facing death and transformation you are f doing the work with the high priestess and we know that the high priestess is card of pisces as well as the moon and look i just want to naturally put that there because it's just so clear it's time for a transformation and it's being activated with the moon energies your transformation is being activated with the moon energies. Whoever I'm connecting with here. And there we go. 
temperance, the angel of peace. This transformation of just letting go of something and deciding to do something for the greater good of even yourself, of yourself, okay? The greater good for yourself, for self-preservation. We have the angel of peace, temperance. And the sun energies are here, right? I feel like we have the moon energies and the sun energies. So you have the mother and father energies here helping you on. Oh, very. Okay, that's a definite message. That this is just um, time for your vision. Your vision, your vision to come true. And that's what that sword is. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. And I really feel like this sword is your vision. And you've almost been afraid, but you're not gonna be afraid anymore. Because the Angel of Transformation and the Angel of Peace are here. Father and mother energies. That's beautiful. Please, if this message resonates with you, let me know. Now, let's see what you're activating. It's beautiful. Don't be afraid to transform, okay? I know it's not easy, but you matter. There it is. Did I get it right set up? No, of course I didn't. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. And that is a special message out there to any of you Pisceans feeling alone. Please. On the work you're doing here, you're not alone. Okay? <clears throat> you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You are so supported, you do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and, and of earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have done already and are ready to work through you. The bow at your feet and thank you for wanting. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them. They devote your life to protecting the earth in your unique way. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of financial abundance, acts of service from strangers, or people flocking to help you and your work. The only thing that is stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for the work that you are doing. You do not need to give it and go at it alone. Call upon the keepers of the earth to help you on your mission. Open your heart and your mind to receive more than you ever thought possible. What kind of support do you need? Call it in right away. Work your light activation. Hold the card to your heart and say, I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life and my work, and I call it in now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I joined in on that one with you guys because I am a Piscean myself. And this is incredible news for me because we need support. We're healers, we're creators. We can connect to sorrow. We understand death and transformation. And there's very clear messages in here, guys. Hold tight. And I really felt like why I said tied in there. And what I, that's what I really felt like. I really felt the angel's presence here. And you could see that this person is tied, but they're just chilling. And look at their angel wings. 
Look at the angel wings off of this king of swords. The transformation is here. The time is here. Your visions are here. Your vision quest is what is helping you get through the treacherous waters. So please, hold on. Don't forget your vision. Beautiful creators. With the whales in the background. What a beautiful card. So many of you care about animals. Stepping into purpose about making this a better tomorrow for Mother Earth and the animals. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me here. Take care. And I will see you again soon. At School for the Fool. Until next time.